Certifications can allow you to work in IT without a degree, and it can provide a boost in starting wages due to knowledge and experience in the field. Welcome back to the series on the channel where we talk about how to get into IT without a degree. And as mentioned in the last video, today I wanted to talk about certifications. I also wanted to provide some beginner friendly certifications that would be a great place to start when getting into the field. Certifications are awesome. They allow us to learn without attending school for multiple years on end and are also, let's be honest, this is America, super affordable in comparison to traditional college. So in the last video, we talked about what you need to get started, right? You need passion, the basic fundamentals. You need to figure out where you want to start. Maybe you got the first two figured out and you're still having trouble with the third one. I want to take a look at a few certifications today that will provide you a few different avenues to venture down. If that sounds like something that you're interested in, consider leaving a like so that other people can find this information and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date when my latest episodes for this series go live. And I do have some information written down here, so I will be reading the screen uh, ever so slightly. The first certification that I want to take a look at today is the be all end all, the literal industry standard. It's the CompTIA A+. The CompTIA A+, certification, as mentioned, is literally the gold standard within the industry, and it is a great place to start. You're going to learn things like troubleshooting, diagnosing common software, hardware, connectivity problems. I typed your symptoms into the thing up here and it says you could have network connectivity problems. You're going to learn about multiple operating systems that are used day to day, how to keep them running properly. You're going to learn about increased reliance on SaaS or software as a service products, applications for remote work, data management and scripting. If I didn't go to college, this would be the certification that I would want to have above anything else. The CompTIA A plus requires you to pass two exams, both of which cost 246 US dollars pre-tax for a total of $492. Sounds expensive especially when you consider adding on the learning materials, which also can incur additional costs. It is kind of spendy, but in comparison to a college level course, it may be about the same price as one course, but you don't need to get 30 college credits to graduate. You can find the information for the certification at CompTIA. Org. The next certification that I want to take a look at is the Microsoft 365 Fundamentals Certification. This is one that I'm currently working on right now. The cloud is everywhere. You hear about it all the time in the movies, in the, in the movies. The Microsoft 365 Fundamentals covers things like Microsoft 365, uh, which is their cloud desktop solution, but it also goes over being an admin when it comes to their environments and their standard 365 environments. I'm talking about Office 365, Azure, Active Directory, Teams, Admin, Exchange, and more. In my current job, we do have some technicians that tend to hover towards those type of tickets that have to do with Microsoft or Office 365. So this certification would be super helpful in situations like that. This certification will teach you cloud concepts, core concepts of Microsoft 365 and services, uh, discuss security and show you how to navigate the admin portals for Microsoft software as a service products or SaaS. The cool thing about Microsoft is that they actually have all the training on learn.microsoft.com. And this isn't the only certification that they have. You can look through a list. Why did I say a list like that? A list. You can read and study at your own pace. Solid, right? And when you're finally ready to take that exam, the exam for the Microsoft 365 Fundamentals certification will run you 99 bucks. No extra incurred costs are necessary if you learn at your own pace and use the learning.microsoft.com portal to do your training. And that's $99 pre-tax, by the way. All of these prices are pre-tax. And the final certificate that I wanted to take a look at today uh, for people interested in networking and security is the Cisco Certified Network Associate Certificate or the CCNA. And this certificate is designed to cover a broad range of networking fundamentals, network access, IP connectivity and services, as well as some security fundamentals as well. And the exam will validate your skills in all of those categories. This exam costs $300 pre-tax a little more expensive considering that the e-learning course on their website runs you another $800. Now, if you already have a job in the IT field and you're just looking for beginner certifications that you can take like myself, right? I'm not claiming, I'm not sitting here on YouTube claiming to be the smartest person in the room. I am definitely not. I have an education and I have experience with hardware. I don't have any certifications 
that I lied. I had a, I have an HP certification for HP uh, desktops and laptops, as well as Chromebook certifications for HP Chromebooks. That's for repair. Those were needed for a previous job. Those are probably expired by now. So I was looking around at what I would want to take and I was like, hmm, some of these are super, super beginner friendly. Let's make a video about it. Keep in mind the CompTIA and the CCNA will incur additional costs or they can. Whereas unlike Microsoft, they do not provide all the study materials for you for free. I'm sure with some Google Foo, you could find a bunch of study material for cheap and or free. But at the end of the day, you got to remember that these are essentially college courses where at the end of it, you get the piece of paper that says I can do this and you didn't have to spend $6,000 for one semester for two to four years. It was five to a thousand dollars once or in the case of Microsoft, ninety nine dollars once unless you failed. Don't fail. But if you do, that's OK. At the end of it all, you get what you need. The certificate saying that you can do this job or that you have these skills to complete this certain task and they are totally worth it. Subscribe to stay up to date on all these latest episodes and all my latest content. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.